Calls for change after a mother traumatized, finding out her child walked right out of a daycare. Good evening. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Brian Duffy. And I'm Nicole Versansky. Tiffany Tucker is off tonight. Now, the mother says if it wasn't for a good Samaritan, her child might not be here. Now, all new at 6, that mother wants to make sure nothing like this ever happens again. See a New Yorker live now in Rocky River with the latest. See ya. Those two toddlers walked out of the nest schools right here at Hilliard and Worcester. A good Samaritan told the mother of that daughter that those two babies were trying to cross this very busy intersection when she grabbed them and took them to safety. Annette Pena says she's still hugging her daughter tight after a phone call that made her heart stop. No anger, um, sadness. I was just like devastated. I was speechless. I, I mean, I could not describe what I was feeling, really. Rocky River police say last Tuesday, two children were wandering in this area after walking out of Nest Schools right here on Hilliard in Worcester. Investigators say a woman spotted the children walking just before 4 p.m. and grabbed them, walking them back to the daycare where they attend school. Police say the toddlers were able to leave the facility through an open door after a, quote, oversight of the cook. Annette tells me she's tried to get an explanation from administrators, but to this day, she's never received a clear answer. They made it just seem very minimal. Yeah. And so, you know, it was very easily brushed off, you know, and it, that it wasn't. The severity of it was not just something that you could brush off. And so, since her daughter walked out, she hasn't been back to Nest Schools. She says she doesn't feel the children are safe. 19 News received this statement saying in part, quote, they regret this event happened regardless of its brief nature and that they were evaluating and implementing changes. But when I pressed on what those changes were and if anyone was fired or disciplined, I didn't get an answer at the time of this broadcast. Annette says moving forward, they have to be transparent for the safety of the children, and she's grateful to the Good Samaritan who saved those children from harm. Just absolutely thankful. Thank God that, like, you know, my daughter is home with us. Rocky River police secured that door there at the school before leaving last week. Now, Annette tells me she's contacted Child and Family Services, and they are investigating. We'll definitely keep you updated on this one. Reporting in Rocky River, CNN Yorker, 19 News.